Hey, Shalom Israel, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land where we're Shalom. So lock you one second. I got to pull this chair up a little bit. Ah, it's a little bit better. Okay. Um... Uh, brothers and sisters, this one uh, here, I'm going to just uh, entitle it, uh, Blessed is the man that trusteth, that trusteth in the Lord, you know, and whose hope the Lord is. Uh, it's a long title, but it's true. And uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai, it comes from this little conversation I had this morning with my with my put away wife should I say um you know just going over s a few things and I don't I don't really talk to them at all anymore uh and you know the reason why is because we're, we're, we're in the truth man you know we're in the truth and we're actually separate and holy uh, uh, you know kind of you know it's like there's no other way to be there uh because uh, just these little conversations, you know, uh, can, you know, they're they're not, they're not pleasant to have for me anyway. You know, I don't I don't I don't get off on having conversations with, with people in the world that much anymore. I, of course, you can you can have a little small, few minute uh, here and there, you know, just to be uh, peaceable among all men. Uh, and of course, uh, when it comes to the plantation and all that stuff, hey, you got to do it, man. You got to, you know, hunker down and hopefully. Don't have to freaking talk. Just do what you're supposed to do. You know, do your little slave work and all that. Let's get it laid. Let's get into some scriptures, man. But anyway, on the on the with the conversation, man. I found myself, you know, most of the time, and that's why I said that, you know, uh, to to stay separate and away from these people because, and we're gonna bring it out in the scriptures. Uh, once you come into this truth, you have Hashem has washed us with the word. Uh, the scriptures say, let's let's go get it. Um, in the book of Second Peter, I don't think I need the glasses today. Second Peter chapter three verse ten, real quick. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Salaki, Second Peter chapter three verse eleven. Seeing then, because what I want is just this part. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought ye to be in all holy, holy conversation and godliness? Um, you know, and and for me, man, it's uh, what what's my conversations based on? I'm thinking about most. Of, you know, majority of my time is 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 uh is here thinking about the kingdom of heaven. Thinking about you, how was shy? Thinking about am I doing? You know, examining myself. Am I walking? You know, in the correct correctly. Uh, what do I need to do to build myself up more in this? In the, you know, in the faith. Uh, am I pleasing? You how about Shema Shai? You know, uh, what's 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 gonna happen next? What's the next prophecy? When are these devils gonna gonna do what they say they're gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Uh, when is this shit gonna just totally? When can we unplug? You know, basically. You know, praying and hastening the day of the, of the coming of Yahweh by Shema Shai, man. So, um, you know, talking to someone else who's who's still in the world. So what what happened is that I found myself with that with that with that monologue, man. Let's go to the book of uh, Jeremiah, chapter seventeen, verse seven. Blessed is the man that trusts in Yahweh by Shema Shai, and whose hope the Lord is. Okay, right. Because blessed is the man. Who trusted in the Lord because once the Lord has woken us up, you have Hashem Shai called us out of that darkness into this marvelous light. There's no other way to be. So now we put all of our hope, you know, and and hoping for salvation. Uh put all our hope in the in and you have Hashem Shai coming back and uh uh seeing the downfall of our enemies, getting us out of this wicked, wicked kingdom, this hell that we're in. Now what's the flip side of blessed is a man that trusts in the Lord? Back in the um, 
Same chapter, uh, Jeremiah 17, verse 5. Thus said the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusted in man, okay? And make it flesh his arm. Right, so as, you, as normal, you talking to someone, maybe a family member, mostly because everybody else, you can just say, Hey, how you doing? Kind word, and uh, maybe a couple of more things, and get the hell away from around, keep, get the hell away from around, around them. But no, sometimes uh, a family member of yours, you know, they might want a little bit more. So for me, I'm going right back to, you know, to, yeah, hey man, what, uh, doing what Yahweh Hashem Hashem declared us to do is warn the children of Israel. Not, you know, because, hey, get get the hell off the phone then. Get get away from me, man, because this is what, I, this, is what this is the only thing that's coming out of my mouth. You know, so I'm, I wish I, I wish I could have recorded that conversation, man, because it was, it was nice, man. It was uh, looking back. That's why I'm making this epistle. I, and I can't come close to to what was coming out, man. I can't come close to what was coming out. It's like you can't. That was the that was the spirit of Yahweh Shemasha, man. Because you can't replicate. Sometimes you just can't. You can't duplicate it, man. Because it's the spirit. It be the spirit. What's the scripture say? The spirit coming and going. No man know where know where it come and where it goes. You know. Um, but anyway, so that's the holy conversation that we're in. And um, we're just gonna get get a few scriptures, man, because this is uh, I don't know if this is gonna be part one. For some reason, it, it's it could be. You know, uh, I feel like something something could come out of, come out come about this, uh, because you know, right there at this point in time, I, I have to go back to the plantation and everything, but. Uh, this is a this is a serious this is a serious um, co a quite serious epistle because it uh, what happened on the over there phone call it was it was you know through the spirit declaring uh, the the words of Yahweh by Shema Shah like we always do man but on a more like not a a level of pleading but trying trying to convince one. Uh, because like the elders apostles say, you know, sometimes, you know, you're hoping that someone will, you know, get it or wake up. We understand it's, it's up to Yahweh Hashem Shai, but that's all we can talk about anyway. So, you know, because it, it, the scripture comes, it comes, comes into, uh, you know, believing in the word, believing in, in the word. And what I was trying to convey is that Yahweh Hashem Shai is woken us up to the truth. Uh, and it's like something you really can't. Describe to someone who really doesn't believe it, because they won't believe it, that um, that the Lord has taken someone who was down and out, you know, pretty much out of his wits, you know, in darkness, you know, uh, uh, having all these demons on him, you know, in his temple. The Lord has cleaned that out and put the Holy Spirit of truth in him. So now he's got a totally different outlook on everything around who the who our enemies are which is Esau Edom and all the other nations who we really are and it's and the beautiful thing is that it's all right there in the scriptures and we can see them so clearly this is the book of 2nd Corinthians chapter 6 verse 14 and it simply says be ye not unequally yoked together with non-believers but what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness and what communion have light with darkness so and this is goes and goes into also you know, um, is one of the reasons why you can't be around people who don't believe that long and that much because you're just casting your pearls in the swine because what else are you going to be talking about, man? Basically. Uh, so, at the end of the day, we're hastening the day of the return of Yahweh Shema Shah, knowing that the prophecy can't be rushed, but we're, we're praying and hoping that the Lord will come and deliver us out of this hellhole, but at the same time, you know, occupy until He comes. Standing in this truth, you know, keeping our garments, you know, clean as possible, you know, and, and trying to get better and better in, you know, in in the, in the faith, you know, and not fall out, not have that candle being blown away. It's not. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a fight, man. These are conditions of the battle. I'm just gonna bring out these scriptures, man, so I don't be rambling along too much, because as as we're bringing this out, I'm trying to recall that conversation, and it's just not it's just not flowing. It's not flowing too well right now, man. Let's go to the book of Micah, chapter 2, verse 10. 
Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. Now going back to the understanding that the Lord has woken us up to the truth. Everybody else thinks it's okay around, you know, living here. Everybody else thinks uh, and hoping that this this place is going to get back to get back on its feet. But we understand that this is the downfall of this place. Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, will be destroyed. But that's where our faith and our hope lies in, you know. Uh, but that goes right back to Jeremiah 17 and 7. You know, blessed is the man that trusts in Yahweh Shema Shai. Because everybody else is trusting in man. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't really understand. They really don't trust in the Lord. They say they love the Lord and all these things. But they have no idea who the Lord really is. Because they've been lied to by the devil that the Bible speaks of. Which is Esau Eden with this Christianity. And, and, and putting out all these other false doctrines and religions out here. But we don't come back to the truth. And when you see the truth, what does the, the truth say? Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. So that's what's going on with us. You know, um, and, and the other people can't see it. But when we speak about it, we just know, hey, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sword of destruction, man. This place is wicked all around. Now, you can have a conversation with people, and they be like, yeah, oh, they always agree. No, you know, that's the, that's the weird part about it. But that's that's the beauty of Yahweh Shema Shai waking us up fully to the truth and the understanding. But then they will still be blinded because they see that this Esau, even the Caucasian race, is a, is a wicked ass nigga. You know, they see that the motherfucker been oppressing us. But they can't come to the full understanding and belief because they, I can't believe it. Because it is the spirit of truth, you know, it is the um, the Holy Spirit, man, from from someone that will believe with the whole heart and repent with the whole heart, you know, and then start to re re and get that, man. But it's the spirit that Yahweh Shemashah will give them, you know what I'm saying? Because people are so close, but they still are so far away, you know what I'm saying? Because there's no in between. You're either there or you're not there. Because we like we like the uh, oh you know like the brothers right now bringing out about IUIC. So close, but so far away. You know what I'm saying? You're actually getting primed. You know, going to do this thing, but the scripture clearly tells you don't do those things. Woo. Okay, um, where we at? We're going to go to the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth to, unto life. And few there be that find it, right? Because the Lord has to uh, to have that light shine so you can see your way, man. To to um, not to walk, to not follow after a multitude to do evil, and that's what uh, Esau Edom is doing with this whole world. He's he leading them down that path of destruction because everything he does leads to death. But Yahweh Shema uh got us, and he's 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 leading us to life, man, on the path of righteousness. Um, uh, because the scripture clearly tells you that um, the, for the wages of sin is death. Right? The wages of sin is death. Now, it also says that the, um, blessed is man whose sins are forgiven and covered. Why? Because they believe on the one true living God who, who, who died for our sins. But first you have to repent. You know what I'm saying? You, first you have to believe in, in Yahweh Shema Shai. And that's and that's what we that's what we're preaching here. Hey, to come, repent, believe in the name, believe in the son of Yahweh Shemasha. Believe in the son of Yahweh. This is the um, book of Matthew, chapter 3, verse 11. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire, right? Because it's his words. He is the word. Right? He's going to be leading you out of that darkness, as the scriptures say. 
you know, you repent, and he's gonna, Yahweh Bashim is gonna lead you out of that darkness. Open up your eyes to see where you are, you, that you're in Babylon the Great, aka America. You, you'll see that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. You'll see the error of your ways, and that's part of repenting coming back. And this is the message of the Hebrew Israelites, man, telling to the children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, letting them know that they are the Lord's chosen people. You know what I'm saying? Um, and 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 uh, also, you know, we were speaking about, <clears throat> you know, um, actually, you know, living. And I'm like, this is not living. This this is not living. We we're we're in slavery. You know what I'm saying? We've been in slavery. We've been lied to the whole damn time. They're telling us, you know, that. Everybody's equal, but yet on, the, on their funky-ass constitution, they are still labeled as being three-fifths of a man, right? Um, it's just nothing but shrouded in lies. The whole thing is nothing but fucking lies, man. But this is the truth. This is the hope of salvation, man. This is, this is something right here that we are willing to... Uh, and you know, you know it's a spirit, man, because we are definitely wholeheartedly just done turn our backs on like all this shit man and waiting on waiting on you how about shima shot this is the book of acts chapter 3 verse 19 repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of you how about shima shot right because you have to repent and be converted that your sins may be blotted out because the lord continues to say in the scriptures all the Amos chapter 9 verse 10 all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us this is the warning that we are telling talking to the children of Israel man this is the warning uh, that the Lord has opened us up opened up our eyes so we can see these things this is the book of uh, Psalms chapter 82 Yahweh by Shema Shah standeth in the congregation of the mighty he judges among the gods how long will ye judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked say la right because these these wicked devils are just doing what the hell they want they're running rapid and their sins have reached up into the heavens but it's almost that time of judgment defend the poor and fatherless do justice to the afflicted and needy that is us the so-called negro hispanic and native american Indians. deliver the poor and needy rid them of the hand of the wicked yeah we're in the hand of the wicked they refuse to let us go you know the children of Israel and the Ju children of Judah were oppressed together and still are. They refuse to let us go. Yahweh Hashem said he's going to come and deliver us. He's going to come and redeem us. Deliver the poor and the needy. Rid them of the hand of the wicked. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. You know, you can talk, um, talk, talk, talk this 100% truth to um, someone who really don't believe it and don't get it all day long they're gonna agree with you yeah that's not right um, you know about you know we can talk about the LGBTQ community how that's not right how the scriptures say that uh, a man that goes with another man should be put to death uh, these are the facts of the Bible but nobody they really don't comprehend that man uh, because the Holy Spirit is not on them. Yahweh Hashem Hashai has not called them out of that darkness into this marvelous light. Um, but, hey, but that's why this word is going out. Because we're still searching for the 144, hopefully elected to the one-third of Israel. We're going to continue preaching this word until the day that Yahweh Hashem Hashai stops us. You know, until that famine of the word comes, comes into play. Right? They know it not, neither will they understand. They walk in... And on in, in in darkness, all the foundations of the earth are out of course. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High. That's he's, this, the whole scripture is talking about the children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. We are gods, man. We are the children of Yahweh Shemashi. But ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. Rise, O God, Yahweh Shemashi. Judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. Okay. And that's talking about the Lord bearing ruler over all that's in the earth. Because uh, right now, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And you can see that. Uh, when the wicked rule, the people mourn. But when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. i got to reset this.
Alright y'all, so uh I reset the camera and I just want to uh come back to this one real quick. Yeah, the the, the whole world, the whole foundation of the earth are out of course. Um and we're hoping and we're waiting patiently for you, how about Shima Shai, to arise and judge the earth, right? For thou shalt inherit all nations, and the Lord's gonna inherit all nations. I think I think that's where I was at. Um, because right now the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. You know, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And we're going to go to the book of Proverbs, chapter 12, verse 6, 26. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. Right. And who's the righteous? It's us, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. Right. We are righteous. The Lord has chosen us to be his special people. And he's given, the, given us these law, statutes, and commandments. Right. And it tells you right there in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me that ye should do so in the land whether ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and understanding in the sight of the nations. So he gave these laws and statutes and commandments to the children of Israel only, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. Right. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great who have Yahweh Shem Shah so nigh unto them as the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for? Right, and we can come to the understanding that um, these elites of these other nations, they know who we are. And that's based off of uh, Psalms chapter 83. They know that we're the children of Israel, and they know based off the history of the scriptures that if there was ever a problem and we were we were doing the right thing by the by Yahweh Shema Shai that the Lord would come and he would always protect us and you know uh and destroy our enemies which are them all the other nations right so this is the book of uh Proverbs chapter 12 verse 26 the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor but the way of the wicked seduces them right so the wicked who all these uh, Esau Edom, the Caucasian race, is always producing and, and pushing out uh, wicked vibrations uh, to try to keep us away from Yahweh Shema Shai. You know, keep us in in the midst of sin. That's why they put all these bad things on our neighborhoods: crab, pork, shrimp, lobster, and all these things, right? Guns, drugs, uh, having the women, you know. They just adultery, they push adultery, all these the witchcraft things, all in the media, all this stuff, man. Just to keep us away from Yahweh Shema Shai. But they can't, the Lord, you know, this is the Lord's story, Yahweh Shema Shai. And he's ordained us to come out here now, to wake up to the truth, to return to him. He's, the scriptures say only a remnant shall return. And that's what's going on right now. And there's nothing they can do about it. Uh, uh, and that's why we are... You know, that's why the Lord commanded us to go out on the highways and hedges. And this is, and goes right to uh, Isaiah chapter 58. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up the voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. Right. Tell tell the children of Israel, hey man, y'all, y'all messing up. Uh, you are the Lord's chosen people. These laws, such commandments are for us. These people done lie to us. You know, and these, that's what that's what we're proclaiming right here, man. That's what we That's all we're proclaiming right there. It's time to return to the to the one true living God, the God of Israel. You know, forsake your sins, offend less, seek the Lord's face, start watching the videos of the elders, apostles, of great millstone, all these things. That's what's going on here. Let's go to the book of Ezekiel, chapter three, verse seventeen. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the words at my mouth and give them warning from me. Right. So basically, you know, whenever I have a conversation. With one of my siblings or, or, you know, what's left of them. Or one of my family members or something. It's always going to continue to turn back to the scriptures. You know, I uh, can't help it, man. Because what manner of person are you to be in all holy conversations? This verse, uh, so this is uh, Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 18. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. And thou givest him not warning, nor speaker to warn the wicked from his wicked way. 
to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. And, you know, I don't see it as being uh, over-righteous or nothing like that. It's just like, hey, man, I, I would rather not speak to you if I don't have to. You know what I'm saying? Because what the fuck do I have to talk? What, 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 what am I talking to you about? You know what I'm saying? What the hell am I going to talk to you about? We're over here. <laughs> we, we, man, we, cause like why, like I say, man, this, 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 this not, this, this not life, man. Jumping up every day, going to the damn plantation. Uh, you gotta put your money in a bag full of holes. You know, we're subject to payments. Um, there's wickedness running rampant in the streets. It's being pushed everywhere that we look. Uh, these. Transformers are all over the damn place being pushed all in your face. You know, Lord, please, you know, what they're going to do to the children. All these things, man, you know. But you got these people running around here. And this is the story. This is the condition of the battle. Loving it, man. And we know that they're going to be destroyed. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 10. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt show this people all these words. And they shall say unto thee, Wherefore hath the Lord pronounced all these great evil against us? Or what is our iniquity? Or what is our sin that we have committed against the Lord, our God? Right, because they, you know, they, they've learned the way of the heathen. They've forsaken you, how about Shemashai? Then shalt thou say unto them, Because your fathers have forsaken me, said you, how about Shemashai, and have walked after other gods, and have served them, and have worshipped them, and have forsaken me, and have kept not my law. Okay? And ye have done worse than your fathers. So when we tell the children of Israel, hey man, y'all supposed to be coming back to seek the Lord's face. This is the time to do that. They don't want to hear it, man. They want to continue on in the way of the heathen because they have no faith. But Yahweh Bashim Ashai has bestowed on us this faith, this hope. Um, you know, once again, blessed is the man that trusted in Yahweh Bashim Ashai. Ye have done worse than your fathers, for behold, ye walk every one after the imaginations of his evil heart, that they may not hearken unto me. Right, and that's why they just brush you off. That's why they don't want to believe. They don't even want to try. They want. They don't even want to consider. But they will agree that uh, Esau, even the Caucasian race, is, uh, is uh, you know, hey, it's just not right, man. They rather just complain and bitch, you know. Uh, but like the epistle I made yesterday. Um, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Hashem, to you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but unto them it is not given, right? Uh, but the flip side of this is that while we're waiting, and uh, it there's hey, it's, it, it's, there's nothing. The the good part about it, once again, is that there the the scripture proclaimed that this is hope. Um, we're not doing this just for the hell of it. You know, um, yeah, this is going somewhere quickly. We're doing this because we don't, we want to escape this judgment, man. We're doing this because we want the kingdom of heaven. We're doing this because we love Yahweh about Shemashah. We're doing this because he's let us understand what true righteousness is and what life really is, man. That this is not it, okay? And and here's the promise. Therefore, I will I cast you out of this land, right? Well, this is the... You know, this is what happened. You know, basically because of because of uh, the stiff neckness, because uh, they want to continue on in the way of the heathen. They want they don't want to hearken until you have Hashemashai. Therefore, will I cast you out of this land into the land that ye know not, neither ye nor your fathers, and there shall ye serve other gods day and night, where I will not show you favor. And that happened to us. Therefore, behold, the day come. But here we go, right here. Because this is what we're working for. This is what we're hoping for. This, this is what we're waiting on. Therefore, behold, the day comes, say Yahweh Hashem Hashem, that it shall no more be said, the children, Salaki, that it no more shall no be said, no more be said, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, and from all the lands where he had driven them, and I will bring them again into their land, that I give, gave unto their fathers, man. Behold, I will send for many fishers, 
say Yahweh Hashem and they shall fish them. So right now we're in the process of fishing the children of Israel because the Lord has de declared that He's going to collect the children of Israel that He's scattered across the four corners of the earth. That's the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. Right? He's going to collect us, man, and He's going to put us back in the land which He swore to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the land of Israel. Okay? So that's what's going on right now, man. You know, and... Uh, That's that's it. That's it for today, and we'll we'll see if um, you know through the spirit if, if uh, we're gonna make a part two to this or not. I'm not sure, man. Sorry, it came out rougher than way rougher than than the phone conversation. You know that it was just uh, it was really you know it was just really spiritual, man. I wanted to try to try to convey it some kind of way because it was really nice man the way uh, the way it was coming out okay so that's it we're gonna just close it out man and give all honors and praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah Bahashim Rekakadash I'm gonna give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real salutations to the 144 hopefully elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity and the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb with his boy Shalom Israel Shalom